What's going on everybody? This is Levi at Gordy's Cards. I uh, wanted to go ahead and just make a quick video showing you what I picked up at the National. Uh, my voice sounds a little goofy because I'm hoarse from talking so much there. Um, so yeah, I put most of the best stuff towards the end, but I kind of try to intermix things and divide it up by who I made deals with so I could tell you what I paid for stuff, kind of what I'm, uh, you know, what I'm going to do with it, if it's PC, if it's something I'm going to sell, that sort of thing. Um, so before we hop into it, if you find any value in this or any of my product reviews or other pickup videos, uh, please go ahead and subscribe. Definitely drop a like if you like it. So let me go ahead and hop right into it. All right, we're going to start over here. Um, okay, so this is the first deal. Um, this is the first set of stuff I got. Um, every all these prices I got it at 50% off from what's actually marked here. Uh, this is from uh, Gotta Have It Sports Cards on Instagram. I'll try to shout people out as I uh, as I remember them. Sometimes I don't have didn't get everyone's Instagram, but um, so yep. I this is an old Shaq Fleer Metal Universe. Just a huge fan of that set. I might put it out just at the same sticker price at some point, but I'm just a big fan of the uh, Fleer Metal Universe. You'll see I got one or two others from there. Um, just picked up this pretty sweet uh, Marshall Falk old school insert, um, black diamond uh, from Upper Deck. You know, Hall of Famer, cool insert. Just grab that. George Kittle, one of the best tight ends in football, so I grabbed that with a cool parallel. Um, same with Eric McDonald, one of the, one of if not the best player in football. So went ahead and picked that up. Now this was one of my Stafford pickups. I picked up more than that, but I really like this one because it's actually my first uh, jersey number serial. Um, you know, it's funny. It doesn't really matter until it's your guy. So once I found it, I'm like, I had to have it. I got it for five bucks. Um, milestone moments. This is only player worn. It's not game worn or anything. Um, but yeah, it's a cool looking card from Spectra. So Stafford's my main PC, so I picked that up for five bucks. All right, next, <coughs> next I picked up these. I picked up these two Mia hams for thirty bucks total, which they go anywhere from eighteen to forty on eBay. So I was happy to pick up both of them for that. Going to send them out to get graded. Um, even in sevens and eights, they do pretty well, and it's worth it. But you know, if you can get like an eight or a nine or even a 10, which I don't think these are 10s or even 9.5s, but they're pretty valuable. But, you know, old school soccer goat, I had to pick it up for cheap. Another Stafford one from Spectra. Uh, again, not a rookie card, obviously, but got it for 15 bucks. Um, one off his jersey number, but I just like, you know, numbered stuff of your guy, got to grab it when you can afford it. Um, all right, so next is going to be some value bin pickups. Um, I paid three, about three fifty a piece for these. Once you factored everything in, I comboed some stuff with my dad when I was there. Uh, Marvin Harrison Groundhogs game used shoes, uh, number to one twenty five. Probably put that out for five, ten, maybe even fifteen. Probably ten at a show when I do my first indie show. But I wanted to make sure I got some uh, Colt stuff. Like I said, game used shoe. Marvin Harrison. If he's not a Hall of Famer, then he should be and probably will be soon. Um, Game used jersey for Edron James. Uh, it's th uh, not numbered, but it is a game worn jersey. Like I said, what three fifty? I'll probably put it out for like ten Indianapolis. Even if I did five, I'd be happy with that margin. Um, this is gonna, probably going to stay in the PC. Like I said, I really like Metal Universe. I'm a big MSU fan. Three fifty for this. Okay, I thought it was cool, so I grabbed it. Le'Veon Bell. He was stud in college. I know he's been kind of weird in the NFL, but big fan of him in college. Picked up these two Reggie Wayne uh, number Peyton Manning top targets again, three fifty. Probably put them out for five or ten. Um, and in Indianapolis, numbered stuff. Got Peyton Manning. Got Reggie Wayne. I believe Reggie Wayne again. I believe Reggie Wayne's a Hall of Famer. If he's not, he will be soon. Peyton obviously is being inducted this year. These two probably going to keep at least one in the PC. This is Blair White. Pick, uh, Blair White Autos paid three fifty a piece again. Um, I know it says Colts, but I don't think these are numbered. This one's numbered. Okay, this one is numbered. Actually, they're both numbered. It does say Colts, but I actually mostly bought. I might put it out at an indie show as well, but I mostly bought it one for the PC and then two for Michigan shows because he was a stud at Michigan State. People really like Blair White. Again, put it out for five to ten bucks probably, but I'm definitely going to keep one if not both in the PC. Probably keep this one. Um, all right, so got this in a bundle deal. Uh, again, with my dad, we picked up three of them for four, and I just bought out one of them because I just wanted one because I already had one. Killian Mbappe, Prism 9. 
Um, you know, his stuff's been in kind of a free fall ever since he missed that penalty kick for Euros, so I've been wanting to pick up another one or two of his cards. Um, thought that was a good opportunity, especially since uh, we didn't, you know, go dealer to dealer, make a cash deal, that sort of thing. So, yeah, wanted to go ahead and pick that up. Um, that probably I will be flipping that at some point once, you know, soccer starts back up and he's hot again and he starts doing well. Um, Bo Jackson score paid 30 for this. Got this from uh, Tampa Bay sports cards, Miss sports cards as well. Picked up some other cool stuff. Again, that ended up being my dad's. He picked up Kobe Optic Hollow, um, some cool soccer, and a Boba Shet Chrome. But this one, this is all I picked up from them. Great card. One I'd actually wanted for a while. 30 bucks for a nine. I'll take it. Um, I think this is just one of the most iconic sports cards of all time. Um, so, yeah. All right, next, actually, these two I didn't buy, technically. These are some, pa uh, I uh, bought um, some 1996 Collector's Choice Upper Deck Packs for 10 bucks a piece. Um, I actually bought the wrong series. I meant to buy the other one, but I was happy with the pull still. So this is the Kobe Bryant versus Shar uh, Sharif Abdur Rahim insert. Um, they did these face-off ones with all these other Hall, Hall of Famers. Um, again, I, don't, I can't remember if Sh uh, Sharif Abdur Rahim is in the Hall of Fame. I think so. If not, I mean, he was a stud, and it's got Kobe on the front. So that was a fun pull. But this was really the be uh, better, even better of them. Um, you know, it's got Kevin Garnett and Kobe on the front. Probably send this to SGC to get graded. Um, you know, pretty good pull for just, you know, buying some old packs to mess around. I mean, you could buy one box of Prism, or you could buy, you know, six seven eight packs of that i think i bought six and pulled these so um next i was looking specifically for peyton rookies because one i really like peyton and two i think he's undervalued i picked up the two of these for 30. um he had some the dealer had some other cool ones but they didn't look quite as grade worthy um i'm probably gonna send these to sgc i like this one i'm probably gonna keep this especially if it's at a good grade um I just think it's a really cool card. I think Peyton is really undervalued right now, and I think that people are going to remember how good he was with time. Um, this one, um, it's not like it's a, it's not a set that I was super familiar with, Collector's Edge Supreme Masters, but um, it is serial numbered. I figured for fifteen bucks, he's a Hall of Famer. I will go ahead and grade it. You know, I'll have what call it forty five dollars into the card. I'm sure that I can at least face to face get a good deal on that if I end up selling it. But I just again want a more Peyton. Um, speaking of Peyton, got uh, Manning Bowman Chrome Preview BGS 9. I was actually looking for the regular Bowman Chrome and a PSA 9. I didn't see a single one of those. A couple Tops Chrome, a couple of these sorts of ones and SGCs and this and that. But not a lot of dealers trying to move Manning. But I picked this up and the Kyler Murray Prism 9 um, in a deal for 170 total. Probably could have uh, asked for 160 and maybe gotten it, but I just wanted these are both cards I wanted to get. This probably won't live with me quite as long because I think that Kyler Murray's going to come out hot and I will probably end up selling it since it's 2019 base. Um, I think there's still going to be a lot of these coming out of PSA and SGC, especially PSA as they start to kick out some of these orders that have been sitting there forever. Manning, I just I want some Manning in my collection. I want to hold on to him for a while. Um, so, I mean, again, the comps on this are like 110 for this and 70 or 80 for that, not including shipping and taxes and all that so i was okay with 170 for both i'm um, gonna, gonna hold on to that for a while um this is a deal i got from syp sports cards um nothing huge but paid 20 bucks for all of it um got uh, again syp sports cards on instagram picked up joe burrow uh it's 15 bucks you know it looks like it's kind of oc um top bottom i need to look at it and see if it can still get a nine or a nine and a half i don't think it'll get a ten um, might send it in, might also just keep it raw to sell, especially face-to-face uh, -face at, uh, at a show for, you know, I can probably get at least 20, 25, maybe 30 bucks in season for it. Love Joe Burrow, but it's based on rest. There's going to be a lot of them out there, so I'm going to try to get uh, some parallels or something. But picked up this, probably put this out at the show, probably for two in season. Picked up this Derek Carr Optic Hollow for a buddy because I make custom packs for my buddies. These are, I wanted to get some non-sports, again, for my um, my bins, but I also just really like Star Wars, so whether I move these or keep them, I was pretty happy. Star Wars Masterworks, which is a high-end set, Refractor, Darth Vader's Chamber, um, for uh, numbered to 299 and then a numbered Lando Calrissian, 
um, and a numbered Canon Jarrus. Um, you know, there's lots of Lando collectors. Uh, Rebels is pretty popular. I'll probably put out, put these out for five or so. Um, I, you know, I like these, so I'll keep them even if they don't sell. I did actually get. I realized I forgot something else. I did get a Jalen Waddle Red Wave Prism Draft from him for a couple bucks, but that's going to a buddy. Um, so yeah. All right, so not super crazy, but got this uh, Seiko Domboya BGS9 um, Revolution Groove. Um, you know, I think there's going to be a lot of attention on the Pistons with them getting Cade Cunningham. Again, local local shows. I think I can probably move this, and I wanted to have some shiny refractory stuff for my showcase as I start showing. So I think I paid $15 in this in a deal with some stuff that my dad got as well. He got, I think, some Miguel Cabrera um, uh, memorabilia stuff. So... Again, 15 bucks, it's hard to go wrong. If he ends up doing well or getting traded, maybe I move it for 30 or 40. But, you know, even if I, you know, sell it at 15 or 20, I'm not tripping about that. It's a cool card. All right, these are mostly just some quick value bin stuff. I'm just going to go through it. I think I paid a buck each for these. Maybe I got a deal to get it a little bit cheaper. These are all second and third year Mannings. Um, there's a number, I believe this was numbered. No, it's just a rookie Marvin Harrison. This, uh, I know some of these are numbered. I think this is, yes, there we go. Numbered Deion Sanders, Topps Finest with the uh, coating. Uh, again, Topps Finest, this is without the coating. I think this is numbered, no, but it was still Deion Sanders. People like him for a buck. Uh, Warren Moon, Topps Finest, just a cool card. Chris Carter, Topps Finest with the coating. Is this, nope, not numbered. Jerome Bettis, Topps Finest coating. I mean, as you can see, there's kind of a theme here. Um, Old school Hall of Famers top. I really like these old tops, finest 1990 stuff. Put them out for like two bucks or liquidated a dollar. It's whatever. Probably hold on to this because again, I'm a big fan of the Metal Universe. I might try to put together some sets of Metal Universe. Um, I just think it's ridiculous. It's like Tony Gonzalez is running through what is that a train yard? And the Kobe or not Kobe, the Shaq one I got. He was like in a power plant or whatever. Um, I've got some cyber metal basketball coming. That is a set I'm trying to do. So thanks for sticking with uh, with me this long. The best stuff is coming up now. Um, if you have been here this long, I'd appreciate a like or a follow. Um, but let's go ahead and get here. So these are all things I got from the same dealer. <laughs> We're actually going reverse chronological order on them, just in order of coolness, actually. So LaVisca Chanel um, Club Level Silver Prism 9. LaVisca Chanel Neon Die Cut Prism 9.5, um, and Beau Bichette, just top space. Um, so he had, I think it was, I want to say 40 and 50 on these two, and then 5 on this. It was the last day, so I said, would you take 70? He said, absolutely. Um, I wanted to have a little baseball again for what I'm showing. Even if I just put that out for 5 bucks, I'll have done well. And then, the way I see it, I got this for free and these for 35 a piece. Um, if you look at the, the raw prices for them, like it's going to be hard to grade it for 35 a piece. And I mean, you're going to have to wait a month. I am very high on LaVisca Chenault this year. I think I've showed that in some of my other pickup videos. Um, I think that he had something like 600 yards receiving and five or six touchdowns with three different quarterbacks not named Trevor Lawrence. I'm not saying Trevor Lawrence is going to be the next Peyton Manning or anything, but I do think he's probably better than Jake Lutton, uh, Mitch Trubitsky, and whoever it was that was the, the third quarterback that was throwing last year. So I think that he's going to have a good year. Wanted to get some of his stuff graded. I know there's not a ton because I was taking a look at the pop reports. I know that stuff will be coming back, but not a ton. Again, I think he cut me this that nice of a deal because we were... Uh, it was the last day of the show. I already bought some stuff from him. He was a really nice guy. I feel bad. I, I didn't get his name or see if he had an Instagram. Guy from Georgia. Really nice guy. But these were two. Uh, some. Uh, we're going to get down to the last three pickups that I really liked. Top Space Stafford. So he actually had two of these. I thought one was a little OC. Didn't look quite as good. He also had a Bowman Chrome and a Gold. I didn't really care for the prices on those. And now he did work with me on the other stuff. But... I knew he'd probably move it at that, so I just grabbed the stuff I really liked. So I grabbed this, and then this Rookies and Stars um, numbered on-card auto for 200 total. So I was pretty happy with that. Most of the dealers didn't have it, and they said everyone was asking. So, you know, I'm glad to see that other people are starting to wake up and realize Stafford's pretty solid. I've got a lot of his rookie cards, so um, hopefully that goes out well for me, but even if not, main PC. So was really happy. This is actually my first like nice auto, especially it's my first on card. So 
Um, but yeah, really happy, my guy, so I was happy to have that. Now, as f um, this would be my second favorite pickup as far as like card, but as far as actual like value, this is by far my best pickup. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna slow roll this. So top 1998 tops Chrome, Season's Finest Refractor, Barry Sanders, Gem Mint 10. So I saw this just walking by in a show. I'd never even heard of this set uh, before the show. I saw this walking by, and I don't remember their name, but they do the show in um, Wisconsin Dells uh, twice a year now. They might be going to three times. I didn't remember their name, but they do have a great show in Wisconsin Dells at the Kalahari. Uh, Three-day show there, so check that out if you're in the Midwest. But this is a Barry Sanders uh, Season's Best Refractor. Again, Gem Mint 10. Um, beautiful card I mean just look at that it just caught my eye paid a hundred bucks for this I didn't you know wasn't much in the way of I, I didn't know much about it at the time looked it up after and because it was you know obviously such a low pop and last two went for 400 on eBay and it's a 2015 or it's a uh, pop 15 and a gem mint 10 so I don't think there's many more gem mint 10 Barry Sanders 1998 seasons best refractors out there so I think this is great like I said, could have been a quick flip, but this is going to stay in the PC for a long, long, long time because it would be hard to replace. Uh, beautiful, beautiful card. Really glad to have this. So um, if by chance the people who sold it to me saw it, saw this, or actually anybody, I want to say thank you for all the pickups I did, especially all my Stafford stuff, my Lions stuff. It's my main PC. So again, um, I hope you guys have a good one. Just wanted to show you some of my pickups from the National. I'll probably do a video of my thoughts from the National. But uh, yeah, I hope you all have a good one. If you enjoyed this, please go ahead and like and subscribe.